the whole Jonah Hill situation has gotten much worse. And my guess is it will continue. Yeah. On Saturday, July 8th, Alexa Nick is it Nicholas? Yeah. She's a former child star in Zoe 101. She posted to Twitter claiming that Jonah Hill assaulted her when she was six. Sorry, wasn't she Zoe's like the friend that was always with her? Can I see a her good friend. Remember yeah, her? Picture. After reading Sarah Brady's admirable post about Jonah Hill, I just got to say when I was 16, I got invited to a house party at hashtag Justin Long's house where he was living with some lame predator actor from CSI Miami. I'll look up the name later and find him. And she goes on in a full thread here. He was sleeping, aka assaulting a minor, a friend of mine that was also 16 or 17. And I'm not sure. It seems like she is referring referring to this other friend that she doesn't know um, or Justin Long's. I don't know. Seems like it's the other person. Mm -hmm. But she says, anyways, hashtag Jonah Hill came over at some point. We were all pretty wasted because, of course, the predators were feeding us minors a bunch of alcohol. Also, hashtag Justin Long. Why the fuck did you have children at your house late at night? Ew. Agreed. Ew. What the fuck? Jonah Hill seemed to have his eyes on me because at one point I wanted a SIG and he said he had one in his car, quote, right outside. Didn't seem like too much of an effort, so I trusted him. I went outside and grabbed the SIGs from his front seats, his front seat. Jonah Hill didn't hand me the SIG, which I thought was weird. And then as we walked back to the door, I asked him for it and he said nothing, but slammed me to the door and shoved his tongue down my throat. I was so appalled. I pushed him off me and ran inside. Just to note, Jonah Hill said if I wanted the SIG, I had to come with him outside to get it. He didn't want to go all alone. Scary out there. They were all aware that I was 16. Ew, it's so gross. And he's giving her a cigarette too. Wow. Well, I mean, that's the least of it, but... I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe she smokes. Can you buy cigarettes until you're 18 though? Well, now it's 21, but I don't know what the law was back then. I'm just assuming probably there's probably a law against giving yeah, them... Yeah, well, I'm sure that's the least of her worries. Because yeah, now that's... she has Jonah Hill's tongue down her throat. Yeah. She says, hey, Justin Long, I find it interesting you being in Barbarian as a predator. Um, It must have been weird playing some of your friends. You knew your roommate was assaulting a minor under your own roof. You let it happen. Eek. I hope you regret it now. The emo guy from Wedding Crashers was there too. This type of predatory behavior was hyper normalized when I was a kid. I'm proud to see women standing up to abuse of men now badass so now jonah's attorney has called all of these accusations a complete fabrication and that it never happened um he how would you know that mr attorney into jonah of course he's gonna say it didn't happen he said that alexa is a oh no I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck what? is that word demonstrably she is a demonstrably mm -hmm. thank you unreliable source and a serial accuser who has made assorted accusations against multiple men in the entertainment industry and alexa responded by saying i've been traumatized by men in hollywood it's truly sad that traumatic events i have lodged in my body and mine things have to change yeah that's pretty ridiculous obviously as a young especially child star in hollywood chances are just statistically you're going to run into more than one predator mm -hmm. you know obviously you're going to have accusations against multiple people obviously there there's a chance she could be making this up. But why would, why would she, she do that? Do it? And we can't just assume that. Yeah. You know, no, like, and I do think more will come out. I agree. And in the past, she's also um, spoken about how when she was like on the set of Zoe 101, that she felt unsafe. And that was the Nickelodeon show, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure yeah, she had a negative. Snyder was yep, involved in that. Exactly. Yep. Had negative experiences working on Snyder Productions. He's a fucking freak, mm -hmm. that guy. So and obviously she's going to have allegations against multiple men. She's had experiences with multiple men. Yeah. Right, exactly. And she was a kid when she was recording. I mean, it, it makes sense. I believe her because she, it's not like she's the only one that's come out that's been like, oh, I've been mis mistreated as a yeah. child star on TV. No. Whether it's Disney or Nick. It's like incredibly common. So common. What's kind of, I guess, inspiring out of all the things that she's been through is that she actually created an art-based organization called Eat Predators. I like In that. 2022. And it speaks out against predatory behavior in the entertainment industry. So nice. she is like taking action to try and- Good for her. Like, I Make believe change. her. I do. I totally believe her. That's I want to know latest. who that other person that she was talking about from CSI Miami. It's His name is Jonathan Togo. That was Justin Long's roommate. I guess we'll see where this goes. I don't think it'll end here. It's always sad when someone you like 
you know, recently with Colleen, how fucking upsetting this has Ugh. all been. Someone that we really liked. I wasn't like a Jonah one, Hill fan. I don't really care about him. I'm not a giant Jonah Hill fan, he but I always liked Jonah Hill. And, yeah, he's and, fine. I never like. And that's the thing I with need. actors is like they are acting. Right. You know, you have no idea you, who like, these people are. Mm -hmm. That's why it's like you can't idolize people. You're only seeing so much of their life. Mm -hmm. But it's hard not to. I think people get like, mm -hmm. you know, you become a really big fan of yeah. this person. And, and I think then it's they hard to, to actually accept it for mm -hmm. a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it'll take more than this for more people to really accept that that's how he is. So oh, his fuck. hat. His merch hat. Oh, yes. His fucking hat. Dude, this is fucking crazy. Hold on. Let me pull this up really quick. He has, Jonah Hill has this clothing brand called Meaningful Existence. And he... <laughs> He has a cap that says complete unrelenting control on it. What? Like, okay, now it makes sense. What was he trying to do with that before we know that he participates in such control? Like, what What did that mean? What kind of... Yeah, why would anyone wear that? Complete unrelenting Dude, control. Know. But here's the worst part. It was shared by the brand's Instagram on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> oh this God. isn't like five years Stop old. Stop it. That that complete is... unrelenting control... And then, oh my God, it's so bad that it comes out. Oh my God. Then Sarah's like, oh, bet. He made that hat. He's like, this is my hat. I wear it every day because this is who I am. It's not bad. So when did Sarah come out with this? Was it over the weekend? Yeah. Yes. I think it was like Sunday. Okay. So they weren't going to after Saturday she posted, and Sunday. but I would hope the not. The day before. Yeah. She was She's like, like oh, bet. bet. <laughs> Such an idiot. Oh boy. But yeah. Why would you make that in the to begin with and like Ooh, why would you boy. wear that that's not like a good look if i saw some dude walking around wearing that i'd be like red flag <laughs> yeah seriously that's what i'm saying is like now that we have seen all of this and we know <laughs> he lives up to this what was he trying to do before all that look at his like merch. what does that even mean what oh, he's strange... got socks that say complete unreli <laughs> is that Whoopi goldberg on his shirt wait so scroll zoom in zoom to that in guy on, on the top one. left oh that's oh, him no. That's him? Yeah, and like a hoodie. Oh, and a oh, hoodie. Sorry, I thought it was hair. I was so confused. Okay. Yeah, the hat, the socks. E yikes. Big yikes. Look at these socks. Meaningful what do they say? Sock. Meaningful. Meaningful existence. Oh, and anyway. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. It does look like hair. Oh, wait. It is hair. And maybe a wig. Look at the bottom thing. It is thing. hair. It's not his hair. Yeah, it's not a hoodie. It's oh. it's like a wig. Well, Meaningful existence. It's oh, definitely is there, not. Is there a sound cult. coming somewhere? It's probably we like are a spiritual community. No, it's his, it's his website. Oh, we are website? spiritual community. community. Okay, this is getting fucking weird. <laughs> FAQs. I go down to investigate this more. When I have a cold glass of water, why does a puddle form <laughs> will a cup? Am I so clumsy that I spill every time? Answer: Being clumsy has nothing to do with it. The small puddle forms due to condensation. Wait, what? Wait, what is <laughs> <happening>? <laughs> Question, how do doorbells work? Are there speakers inside the walls of everyone's house? Answer, yes. Does meaningful <laughs> existence take returns? Are you sure you want to do that? You sure? Okay, click here. So it's like a fake persona he has where he sells this merch under. As far this as we can is tell. weird, man. How do huge boats sit on top of water? <laughs> Don't they literally weigh tons? Huge boats, such as yachts and cruise ships, have legs at the bottom of them that extend to the bottom of the ocean. Okay, this is stupid as oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god what makes meaningful existence clothing better oh, than yeah. other clothing our clothes contain more energy profit personally rubs energy rocks on every item transmitting thousands of calories of energy which when meaningful existence products are used it, are converted into happiness i think it's almost like a parody Dude, type I feel like I just situation took drugs. <laughs> don't you think it's kind of like a parody of like yeah well he's other saying, things yeah. out there like this it's like making a joke yeah that's what it seems like i would hope it's a joke and it's not he's not actually like over here like I'm no the i don't think so <laughs> and that he's rubbing rocks on the i think you would hear that <laughs> not very funny though very weird man this whole side thing to is jonah weird. i didn't see